Man, there's a lot of questionable places on Earth, like the Bermuda Triangle or Area 51 or even this place. But none of these places can compare to the questionability of high school. And so inevitably, there's some weird ass kids in that joint. Like you gotta be careful who you talk to bro, cause you approach the wrong student and shit. You're getting cussed out by a pack of hyenas in social studies class. And usually I never care what other people do, like you do you, you know what I'm saying? But when I gotta sit through that shit for 6 hours a day, 5 days a week, shit. Can you stop doing you for like 5 minutes bro? And speaking of annoying kids, there's always that one kid in class who's constantly gargling on the teacher's meat. Like, we'll be finishing up the last class on a Friday, and of course the teacher's pets gotta say some shit like, M Mr. Cumminson, is there no homework for us to complete over the weekend? Oh, well, 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 no, uh, believe it or not, I'd rather not spend my weekend marking your shitty ass little essays. So. Don't worry, Mr. Cumminson, I can help you mark essays all weekend long. Whoa, 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 I isn't that against school policy? Well, what's against school policy? Riding Mr. Cumminson's dick with no license? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're not allowed to swear. And of course, the class clown. And man, I really just gotta commend him for his work. Like, it's not an easy job being the class clown. Dude throw his entire GPA, future, and probably got his shit whooped on multiple occasions just to keep the class entertained. Like, I'll be rotting in English class, but to fall asleep until the class clown starts cooking the teacher for no apparent reason. And next, we're looking at adjectives. Uh, does anyone have any good examples? Yeah, uh, Jason. Uh, bald as shit. Oh, well, shit. no, that, that's actually three words. No, 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 I wasn't even using an example. You're just so goddamn bald, Yo, it's distracting. God hey, damn. you know what they say. The more hair I lose, the more head I get. Stop <laughs> <the cat. laughs> no, 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 I don't think that's true, Mr. Clean, because you got more hair than you got hoes. And that says a lot with your Caillou looking ass. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> just go to detention, man. And you know we got the Redditor, bro. Now, don't be deceived, Redditors can come in all shapes and sizes, uh, especially the extra large size, and uh, and even the extra extra large size, but regardless, they all have the same programming encoded into their brains. They're either talking about a video game, or they're quoting a meme, bro. And I got a little piece of advice to any Redditors out there. I don't care how funny that shit may be in your head, if you have to verbally describe what a meme looks like, for your sake, just don't say it, bro, because I promise you that joke will not not hit and next up we got darren presenting a slideshow on 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 why elon musk is is poggers uh yeah uh wh whenever you're ready <laughs> me standing in front of the class waiting to present <laughs> you, you know that meme where mike wazowski is standing there in an awkward fashion with his his hands by his side and he's got like two eyes <laughs> Now there really is levels to being a redditor, and don't get me wrong, they're not all that bad, but the ones that got that I pause my game to be here T paired up with the beer belly neck beard combo, <sighs> that shit is lethal. And if you press E to interact with one of these bad boys, you'll get stuck in an endless time loop hearing about Among Us memes and hentai. Now the band kids are like the redditor's second cousin, like, like it's all the same shit, but, but bro just knows how to play a tuba. Now on the opposite side of the spectrum, we got the dudes who touch grass. The athletes. Now I feel like these dudes got a bad reputation when it comes to the jock stereotypes from the movies. Because the ratio of athletes shoving nerds in lockers is, is probably like 1 in 75. And the one was, was most likely just having a bad day. Speaking of bad days, getting shoved in a locker really has a way of ruining your day and you really gotta feel bad for the nerds who have to endure this type of harassment every single day. Well actually, it's only every other Tuesday after their football practice. Yeah, but you shouldn't have to be be shoved in a locker at all. You you shouldn't have to be. That's grammatically incorrect. It's actually supposed Man, to be you shouldn't shut be. Shut the f There's really just three types of smart people. The first dude, you wouldn't even be able to tell bro's smart because he's just lazy as fuck. He'd be acing every test using 1% of his brain power. Like he's got that Elon Musk potential, but shit, he just doesn't really feel like being a billionaire today. Or on the other hand, we got the weirdly political and argumentative smart dude. This guy used up all his IQ points on logic and reasoning and completely forgot to upgrade his social awareness because this is the kind of guy that everyone mutually agrees is just annoying as fuck like you can't do shit around this dude without him trying to start an argument yo chains you think i sink this half court shot <laughs> Bro, there is no chance you make that shit. Bu -bu -bu -bu. You are incorrect. No chance implies that statistically there is a 0% chance that it goes in, which is wrong as others have made this exact shot before Billy. 
Truthfully, there's a chance for just about anything to happen, even though the chances may be slim. Well, that's cap, because there's no chance for you, bro. N no chance for me to what? You gotta be more specific. For, for you, you to, to get, get some, some bitches. And some people are just smart, and they still have the ability to be a normal functioning member of society. A lot of these people are chill as fuck. Like, they can teach you shit you don't understand, carry you in group projects, and if they're goaded, they can just bless you with the homework. And this is not the same as is getting your homework from the class clown or the athlete because this shit is actually correct and next we got the other dudes who touch grass the stoners <laughs> Why are you looking at me? There's always a dude posted up in the back of the class who's visually fried as fuck. You'll commonly see him posted up with a snack of some sort and you know they never forget the Bev. Now you don't want this dude's homework because I promise you we will just have a bunch of doodles with some mushrooms and this graffiti S and somehow these motherfuckers will manage to take a multiple choice test and get every answer wrong. Like it's actually kind of impressive when you think about it. But besides that, they're just cool people. But I'm not gonna lie, I can't really say the same about the hot Cheeto girls, bro. Like, these girls put in an effort to be as loud as possible. Like, lord forbid, if one of these girls breaks one of their long-ass nails, it doesn't matter if you sit on the opposite side of the class, you're gonna hear about it. You're also gonna hear them chewing those hot Cheetos, cause they be lip-smacking like crazy. Speaking of smacking, there's always that one kid in school who simply enjoys smacking motherfuckers. And at my school, it was Jordan John. And if you see my high school fights video, that's why you don't mess with me, yo. I'm Jordan Johnson. Or my high school dances video. I'm Jordan Johnson. You would know Jordan Johnson keeps a solid ass record, but it's at the point where bros fought so many people that nobody really even fucks with them. Cause now it's like either you fought Jordan Johnson or your homies fought Jordan Johnson, and either way, it's fuck Jordan Johnson. But all bias aside, you just got to appreciate the top tier, high value entertainment that JJ brings to the school. Like after a long day of calculus and chemistry, there's nothing like watching a dude get Batista the bombed in front of the whole school and speaking of the whole school 75 percent of the whole school are straight npcs and there's nothing wrong with it it is what it is because honestly i love you for that I couldn't be happier to share the school with you, my man. Because I'm not going to lie. I don't think I would survive a school without NPCs. The sheer amount of Redditors, Hot Cheeto Girls, and Teachers Pets? <sighs> Fuck. I'd rather be homeschooled at that point. But all jokes aside, man, every student plays a crucial part of the high school experience. So remember to appreciate everyone.